the Earthshaker aside from block creeps. Carter already exchanging some blows here with DDC. Gets the Shadow Wave off, but just keeps on going anyway. Because there is a little pursuit onto Exe in the top lane of the Darks here. Everybody's skirmishing. Siler, the one that might be in trouble though, being chased down the river by Cheeky. Has his level two. There is a salve. Really looking to pressure. He's going to commit that blink and dives even further onto Siler, looking for the first blood. Up the cliff he goes. He is going to sell, but the auto tank cancels it. Siler's in all kinds of trouble. He ticks down to the poison. And Cheeky gets off to a hot start mid. What the hell just happened there? Can't be mid. Maybe he tries to turn this mid lane around. Cheeky. Does still have that ward, but it won't XE on top. Won't see RTK. And meanwhile, XE, well, he's kind of caught out here, but just keeps on sprinting to the right. He will get stun note, maybe off the mark there. XE, surge cooling down, has the salve available. Maybe with another slave, it's all only level one, and with the poison touch, should be enough for the kill. LGD do strike back, but that one forces a four hero rotation as LGD. Yeah, there's a slight advantage here for LGD as they've got one up to four in that tusk. But then I guess that is somewhat balanced up by RTK struggling as they get off the void aggressive. They give out the dive here, but while that was happening, maybe does find a kill. They're gonna commit onto RTK, they will get him. So they lose the Dark Seer top, but they perhaps to kill bottom lane. And he still has that iron shell on a creep, so it's still gonna be a good opportunity to go for that kill. Maybe with the phase boots grabbed up here, a little extra mobility for him. XZ, the man that might get caught. There's the snowball shards, will follow, trapping XZ, and he drops the wall, quickly gets zapped. And the grill and will drop. MMY though is the trade. One for one. They're looking for more. Ember arrives. They want to track down maybe here. And the two carry players want to duke it out. But Aggressive is going to get the upper hand. Brings him down. They did manage to lose the Night Stark on the other end of the fight. But Aggressive now finds his footy. He charges forward onto Siler. Not an easy hero to take down, but he's going to try for it. That Flame Guard's wearing off soon though. Don't think he can actually get this kill on his own. He'll need some assist. And Cheeky has the ultimate. He's trying to bait them in. Aggressive does do it. Cheeky hiding onto the ult. Hiding onto the ult some more. Can he turn on Silar? No blank. He's going to have to long ball it here. If he goes, Ember buying back, re engaging. No sight of this. He gets off the chain just barely. The Quapple's there. It's just enough damage with the chains. And Aggressive now finds himself on the wrong side of a Fissure, or perhaps the right side, because he keeps on running in. In the end, will be forced back. That was a very early buyback. You get the eye and show up though. And they look for more. MMY is next backed into the burning swords of Aggressive. We'll find the kill. Well, an early buyback, Ben, but it does result in two extra kills. Treads. And now I believe has the drums on the way on the courier. And DD does, so. Kind of your typical aggressive build. There is a roll in the bottom lane, though. Big snowball dive from MMY, but he's gone too far. He's been baited in deep, and now he may end up dropping. They get the curse off with the back combo from X. He beautifully played the Splinter Blast coming in as well. And now aggressive is starting to get in range for the fight, maybe. Caught out turns with a go to Echo as well. Big commitment, but Ember arrives. Locks on to RTK. Tries for the TP out. Is there a way to cancel this? The back's cooling down. Ember dumping in deeper. Shiki's joining the fray as well. This is C deck playing their classic aggression and once more it does pay off a three for one wow that teamwork from them too they just as soon as they saw the lena in a bab is it keeps slowing down his yule scepter he wasn't even able to spend Radiant's his unreliable gold before he died attack. it just seems like lgd are, are not ready for the the diving that's coming as bottom lane there is a jump to rtk and burned down by the ion shell flame guard once more c deck just styling on LGD, and it, it's really feeling like they don't have control for this Ember. He may even go back in. Maybe he's TP'd in. Is there a dodge on the snowball? No, he still gets caught. Punch. Do they have to follow up? Not just yet. Able to zip away. Space created for the rest of the team. Yeah, together with Shiki, the two big carry players. They kind of just always ignore the Bristleback. They know that his mobility can't be matched, or he, his mobility can't match the Ember Spirit, so they get the Ember Spirit to kind of roll in on Shiki. And <laughs> Shiki is gone. Radiant uh, little giggle there Middle from the Lena. They lose their Lena, and, or their uh, Queen of Pain to the Lena, rather, and they're like, okay, great, let's smoke right now, fight at the bottom lane. Top. There's just Sandra. no Radiant's stopping C deck from going for these kills. RTK will get caught out the void as well as the sounds deployed, and also dead. Kill number seven, aggressive, continues to ramp up, and now hunting for Siler. He's cursed, surrounded, and beaten down. His own illusion even turned against him. Well, as quickly as they get the one kill, Zedek hunting for more aggressive, charging forward, doesn't have the chains for a few seconds, has an additional remnant, could commit for this one, actually it's two available, chains are there, grabs maybe once more, and then dives past them towards MMY, even looking for another kill, now I'll settle for that, but again and again, Zedek just keep on punishing LGD. That window for them was so small in order to catch out those two.
uh, backstabbing type heroes, especially with the darkness. Out. That's that's I, I think their main key Top to play. win these fights later. RTK has been back, silence, and should be taking down here the soul burn. Shinky. Drops indeed, and Shiki grabs another kill. <laughs> So this has not been the best series for RTK so far. And it's daytime, so they have a little bit more movement around the map. So they just need to make sure that they don't fall too far behind in terms of farm. On the mid lane they go. They are going to curse Silar. They're committing for this one, but they don't have the full team here. They know that Urkipi has blink. They all split oh, up. Oh, the change is there. Interrupting LGD's jump forward is aggressive. Rolls back. The snowball coming in. And then why they want to turn on him now. Quickly burst him out if possible. Silas. There's the back. The wall. My god. My kingdom for a curse. They don't have it. Maybe they don't need it. The scream and the side of fist almost finished off two of those squishy backliners. And now remnant forward. Aggressive out for blood. Hot on the trail. Will bring down DDC. Another pick off. Silar may have survived, but the rest of the team is in shambles. The C-Dex just completely outmaneuver LGD again. Again, it's all aggressive. Firstly, he's on the high ground. ...hands that they have to take that sort of risk. There is a ward that's scouted on RTK, and in fact, the way that they've traveled, they might run straight into the freight chain that his LG, or that is C deck and they jump in. It's RTK caught out again. Then the remnant forward from aggressive already looking for the second kill. He knows the first one secured. They chase forward on the Silar up to the high ground. The BKB has come out. Beautiful club connection. Easy kills left and right here for C-Deck as they jump forward. Another remnant, another grab. There's the chains. DDC down as well for a fall, and it's about to be five. The curse, it wasn't even needed, and now it's deployed onto Silar. Tries to run to the well, can't make it out. Chopped armadillo for dinner, and this just might be the end. LGD, everywhere they go, C-Deck are 20 steps ahead of them. Even more ways to find that dominant team fight that just spells doom for LGD. Yeah, they don't have eyes on Night Stalker. They don't know if he no, actually has a Look at Aggressive. Right. The two hero chains. They were trying to deward and he set up the fight. The team's gonna follow. They snowball and try to hang on. The back was committed. They still have a wall. They still have a curse here if they need it. The quad ball finishes up DDC. There's the echo from RTK. But they need more backup. They've jumped into the curse and Silar's burning. The Iron Shell's bringing him down. He's almost dead. A blink, a scream. He tries to run, but the vampire's on the hunt. And elsewhere, Aggressive was looking to dive a little bit further. Silar diving, retreating down the mid lane, wants to get the hell away. Four heroes streaming after him. Finally, they'll bring him down. Another death here for LGD. It looks like they had the good counter initiate from RTK, but there's just too many ways to turn the star off the fight. Ember Spirit. And survive, apparently. It doesn't matter. Well, that was a really good winner's curve. Two hero chains, and then the follow -up comes from Q. He caught out maybe as well. They're looking to go on this. The back's there. They slow him down. They poke at him. He's going to throw out the Yule Scepter, trying to hang on to his own life. But aggressive is into the fray again. He gets the chains once more. See, that just keep on punching LGD. And they can't seem to take the beating. Cheeky, though. He'll go down at least. Some Thing. A consolation prize. They get off the Fissure, looking for more. Beautiful Enchanto to RTK. It's gonna turn this fight. They've dropped two. They might lose XC. Gets off the Surge. The chase continues. They have a Blink soon. Fissure available. But already, the Dark Seer's backing off. Q up on the high ground will also retreat. And they're not gonna pursue any further. Kill you. Obviously, that Wyvern or Dark Seer can really interrupt things. And it's just been hard for LGD to find that picture perfect fight. They are looking for it now on the move. They smoked. But c -Deck don't get caught aggressive, blinks in, he drops the sight of Fist in the middle of the trees, and that zips out, thwarting LGD at every possible turn. They have managed to lock in XZ, but do they really want to go? Shiki's up on the high ground, there's the curse, the back as well! Get ready for some AoE! They buy back the Queen of Pain, and they're gonna look to run forward, aggressive, slashing his way through DDC, beyond god, like, somebody kill this guy! Finally they get the job done! It's a big commitment, but LGD desperately needed that, unfortunately, it may cost them their Silar, he turns his back, Still takes the quad bolt and into the fray again. They killed him once. Aggressive remnant T4. The echo not quite connecting on him. And now he's going to find two more. Gets the chains on RTK. Breaks him down as well. Four heroes dead. C deck. No mercy once again. Even when you think LGD have a good fight, they still get punished. Two and seven. Not his usual performance. But maybe he can go in first and just let RTK kind of sit back, wait for the right opening as the Bristle charges in. It's going to reveal a smoke cheeky quickly there with the Shadow Strike. But they really want these backlighters aggressive, trying for it from the high ground. Didn't get the chains off though. And now Q jumps in. Beautiful curse there. Catches out two here. Then the wall. The back combos all. The quad bolt comes through. They break down DDC. Now Hunty on the maybe. RTK once again doesn't get anything off. He silenced it. Then suddenly he's dead. So it's going to be up to Silar and MMY as they also lose their Lena. Ember Spirit just zipping above 
himself in the heavens and now finds the chains. Jumping onto Silar, not looking so taky after all. Trying to back off low, but they continue to kite, control him. Silent remnants forward, and they get it done. Four, five, hits the deck. C deck again and again, just out fighting LGD. Better initiation, better vision, GG. and just a flawless performance here. 2 0 in LGD. Big brother has met his maker. It takes a lot of discipline. Excellent job of always finding ROTK and just kind of ignoring the bristle back and eliminating his teammates. And this is what.